Hello everyone, before starting this lecture, I want to share something with you guys that this channel has crossed 100,000 watch minutes which means that the videos are watched for 100,000 minutes and it feels so good that you people are appreciating the lecture so much and I promise you that I keep uploading videos for you guys and provide you the best study content. Alright, <laughs> enough of talking, now let's dive into this lecture. Now there are some most important graph of this Marshall stability test that are being asked so many times in IES and GATE exams. And these graphs are between various design values on y-axis and bituminous binder content on x-axis. So now let's try to analyze these graphs and we will try to make the curvature. Although we don't have the values, but based on our knowledge, we can, we can draw the best out of them. Okay, so first let's talk about our graph between stability and the binder content. Okay. If we try to increase the binder content, then the stability of our bituminous mix will increase or you can say the load carrying, the maximum load carrying capacity will get increased. But if we increase the binder content even more, then it will make our bituminous mix very slushy, very flexible and then it can deteriorate at lower stability values. So this graph will come out as this is the maximum value. We can draw these graphs based on our knowledge. It is not it is not required to know all these numbers and know all this binder content numbers. We can draw these graphs based on our knowledge. So between stability and binder content, if we increase the binder content, firstly the stability value will increase and after that it will decrease if we add the more binder content in it. Okay. So now let's talk about the flow value. Flow value is the deformation at maximum load. Okay, now let's Try to think that if we increase the binder content, will the deterioration values will increase? Of course it will increase. Okay, so this graph will come out to be like this. As we increase the binder content, the deterioration values will also get increased. Okay. Okay, this is this graph is very simple. If we increase the binder content, how will it affect the volume filled with bitumen? Now let's think about it. If we increase the binder content, will the voids filled with the bitumen get increased? Of course they will increase. It will give you an almost straight line. It will give you an almost straight line. If we increase the binder content, the more voids will be filled by bitumen. Now let's talk about the density and the binder content. This graph will come out to be like this. These graphs are most important graphs. These graphs are very important in Marshall stability values. Okay, so this graph uh, will come out to be like this. <clears throat> I will tell you about this graph as, okay, now you can see that the when the binder content is increasing, the density is decreasing and density is mass per unit volume. Here, the volume is increasing as we are increasing the binder content, but the mass is not as much increasing as compared to the volume of it, okay? The density, rho is the, if rho is the density, then rho is denoted by mass per unit volume. If we are increasing the binder content, the volume will definitely increase, but the mass will not increase that much increase as compared to the volume so the density of the specimen will go down if we add more binder content into it okay it will first increase and then it will go down now our last graph is voids and binder we know that if we increase the binder content the void percentage will get decreased it's a very simple graph okay so first of all we did, if we haven't added any binder in it the voids are maximum and then if we are increasing binder the voids will come to a minimum so these five graphs are very important graphs that you should learn okay these five graphs are very important graphs of stability flow value voids filled with bitumen density and void percentage these are the most important graph that you should learn in martial mixed design the national asphalt pavement association has suggested that the binder content corresponding to the mid value of the specified range which is 
3 to 6 percent so the mid value of the specified range of air voids may be considered as the optimum binder content the 4 percent is considered as the optimum binder content so this was all about Marshall mix design and after this we will solve some questions of gate